Alright, I'm start the video by saying call a Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, and rule well. Shalom to your brothers that preach and teach and truth worldwide. I want to say Shalom to Hope Lit and Brother Kanya. Come back with another lesson. This is the title. Uh, I'm dealing with the test. <clears throat> it's supposed to happen in October 4th. So, uh, yeah, this this lesson sitting around basically this um, <clears throat> emergency broadcast testing that's supposed to take place October 4th. You know, a lot of brothers have done lessons on it. But, hey, this is the test. But guess what? Once you get done testing, there will be an actual, they call it an actual casualty. So there, there's going to be, this this right here, what Esau's doing, is testing out this system. But, hey, when them nuclear missiles are, are really shot here on America, Babylon, and Greek, it's not going to be a test. That's going to be the real thing, baby. So I'll read a little bit of this article. It reads, Massive Emergency Alert Test Will Sound Alarms on U.S. Cell Phones, TVs, and Radios in October. <clears throat> this is a test. This is only a test. But it's going to be one very big test. So yeah, so yeah, Esau's testing the system out right now, but guess what? It's gonna come a date, time, and place when, when that mercy broadcast is gonna go across all the phones, TVs in America, Babylon the Great, saying missile inbound. What you gonna do then, Jake? What you gonna do? Here it is. You got other countries, they building fallout shelters for their <clears throat> for their citizens. But here in America, Babylon the Great, they got our people caught up in breads and circuses. So, hey, unless you a lick of the household of faith, a lick of the nation of Israel, you're going to die over here. So let's jump, go ahead and jump into these scriptures. Because this ain't no test right here. This book of Jeremiah 50, verse... I'm going to start in verse 12. <clears throat> and it reads, Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. So this this right here is talking about uh, uh, Great Britain because America came out of Great Britain. So as it reads, your mother, Great Britain, shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. So let's talk about America, Babylon, the Great. After World War III, after the dust is settled, this place will not be inhabited again. So all the, the different mantras, build back better, make America great again, that's irrelevant. That's fool's gold because according to scripture, this place, because, I'm going to read it again. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. <clears throat> I can go ahead and end the lesson. So, here it is, people going out there to make America great again or build back better. The scripture said this place shall not be inhabited. What else? But it shall be wholly desolate. This whole land is going to be desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and his and all her plagues. The ultimate plague is talking about the nuclear destruction. Put yourselves in array against Babylon, against America, Babylon the Great, round about all ye that bend the bow. So all the nations that had those nuclear missiles, what did the Lord say? Shoot at her, spare no hour. Why? <clears throat> For she has sinned for she has sinned against your house. So the Lord said all these nations that been involved, all these nations that have nuclear uh, capability, shoot her. Hey, don't don't you say not one nuclear missiles. What's the dude named Rocket Man? 
Kim, Kim Jong-un. Rocket Man don't say no missile. Gotta shoot them all off, man. <clears throat> because here it is. You got the um, over here in America, we pay taxes and things of that nature. So the average citizen paying taxes and when your taxes go to the DOD, which is Department of Defense. Now, the Department of Defense is sending all these nuclear missiles to these other countries. So basically, our tax dollars are funding the demise of America, Babylon, and Great because those countries like Poland and, and uh, some of the countries that has those nuclear missiles set up over there, they're not paying for it. It's coming from, from that's American tax dollars. But Lord say, all you that been the bow, spin no air. And so they, they're they going to have to shoot them nuclear missiles over here on, on America, Babylon, and Great. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Be sure I hate the whore. <clears throat> Book of Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. So NATO and the EU, they're going to turn around and hate the whore. And what else? And shall make her desolate. And naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So that's that nuclear missiles, nuclear destruction. It's gonna burn America with that thermal nuclear destruction, making this place desolate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, so all, all those different nations that's confederate uh, with America, Babylon, Great, the Lord gonna put the spirit on them to turn around and shoot them uh, uh, those nuclear missiles over here on America, Babylon, Great. It's not what I said. It's does that the scripture you just read it and the ten horns, the ten kings, which thou sawest upon the beast. So we understand that now there's NATO and the EU. Referring to the ten horns, which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore. America is that whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So this place is going to be, be burned with fire at the end of the day. So when that, right now we got a test, but then in the new future, shortly in the new future, hey, it's not, it's not going to be a test. It's gonna be live action. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the real thing. So we get that missile. It's like when you get that message that hey, you got a nuclear uh, missile inbound, brace for shock. Shit, it's gonna be a wrap, Jake. Uh, unless you got the covering on your how about you my shot? Hey, you gonna you gonna die with him, the America Babylon. At that point in time, it's not gonna be a test. This is what's gonna happen. Psalms ninety one. I'm going to jump in here. Psalms 91 verse verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid. Psalms 91 verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid nor sorry, for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flyeth uh, by day <clears throat> nor the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor the destructions that nor the destruction that wasted at noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come now thee. So if you don't have that covering of your by Shimon Shah, when those different pestilence, for that ultimate pestilence that's coming, it's that nuclear missiles. Guess what? You can be part of a thousand that's gonna fall. Or you be part of ten thousand that fall. You're not gonna be part of the, the, the remnant that's gonna see it. It's not gonna come, it's not gonna touch you. So unless you hey, if you don't repent and come back and follow law statute commandment, you're gonna be part of the thousand that's falling on, on, on the side of the lit and part of ten thousand that's falling on the right. But for the lit, it's not gonna touch them. Why? Let's read on. Verse 8. 
Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So the elect going to see the reward of the wicked. That's the reward. Death and destruction. So it, if you beholding the reward of the wicked, hey, <laughs> uh, that, hey, somebody, somebody, somebody has to see it. According to scripture, somebody is going to be able to see the reward of the wicked. I mean, firsthand knowledge. Like, yo, and we understand the hand joining the hand. Uh, uh, if you want to join hand in hand, you're going to get punished with him. So, at the end of the day, if you want to be buddy buddy with Esau, Eden, Sarkar, and White Man, hey, you're going to be judged right along with them at the end of the day. You understand that he is the wicked, but our people, hey, they they doing wicked acts. So, because you want to, uh, um, you want to do, you, you want to follow after Esau, Edom, you're going to be judged with him. I'm understanding Ken and Heavy, you'll come back, you know, right for a lot, but on this side, Hey, you gonna get the same judgment as the goddamn devil at the end of the day, <clears throat> which is destruction, death by pain. All right, verse nine. Because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So if you keep in, if you stay in a habitation, when, what is a habitat? That's something that you dwell in, you live in. So if you make the Lord your, your habitation, ain't none of these things is gonna, gonna come near you. But if you don't make the Lord your habitation, these plagues are gonna consume you and remove you off this planet at the end of the day. So right now it's a test, but guess what? The real thing is gonna happen in the near future. So Lord willing, this lesson was edified. Till next time, shalom and a baba ball.